Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com. This is one of the dopest boards I've ever ridden in my life, the 2020 flight attendant wide. Uh, I have a size 11 boot and I tend to ride size uh, 11 boots and larger. If you have a size 11 boot, just get yourself a wide deck and thank me later. This is an all mountain free ride ripper for intermediate to advanced level riders. Every person I know who owns a flight attendant absolutely loves it. I love it so much that it sits in two of my top three 2020 Burton snowboard categories. The first one is the top three free ride, and the second one is the top three big mountain backcountry boards of the season. This is a dope board. Lots of people love it. So do I, so could you. Uh, it's a directional deck overall. Uh, the nose is 10 millimeters wider than the tail. The stance is set back almost an inch and a half. Um, and it does feature a directional camber style profile shape. So there's camber for a majority of the board, especially in that back end. As you see, it's raised up. It's stable at high speeds. It has loads of pop and it's quick in that ollie pop area behind that back foot and then it has a gradual sweeping nose. You don't notice that the nose is actually you know, quite a bit longer and taller than what you find in the tail. It floats really well in deep snow. It also has a directional style flex, so the tail is going to be a little bit more sturdy than what you find up in the front. And the feel and flex rating of the flight attendant wide, it's going to sit right around a 6 or a 7. Now with that, of course, there's a lot of great construction materials, and inside of this is a Superfly 2 dual zone EGD wood core with squeeze box core profiling. Hey, Guff, what is that mean? A lot of stuff. Uh, part of it is actually that the grains of the wood are actually milled uh, to be perpendicular and parallel to the sidewall, giving it a little bit more structure. And the squeeze box the squeeze box core profiling allows the deck uh, to transfer energy from your body right to the edge because there's thicker sections of the core on the lateral and medial sides of where your bindings rest in that channel. Now to add Special stuff to more special stuff. You have Triax fiberglass on top and on bottom that kind of gives the board just a little bit extra energy and boost in combination with that directional camber profile shape. And then on top of that, there's more a camber or a, a, a carbon I beam. A carbon I beam right down the middle of the board, uh, it kind of rests between the feet that gives the deck extra, extra boost in addition to that Triax fiberglass. There's a lot of stuff going on, but it's not an overly aggressive board. You can still manage this thing without it being managed by it, which is actually a kind of nice thing. So if you do only ride, you know, groomed trails, you don't you don't get the opportunity to ride pow a lot, you can really charge hard. And with the frostbite edges, you can grip on really firm snow. You know, I ride in Minnesota for, for most of my seasons. And uh, with that frostbite edge, it actually helps to grip on, on that cruddy hard snow that you happen to ride sometimes. And then uh, there's that centered WFO base. It's a fast base, a little bit faster than classic centered, but you're gonna need to keep it waxed and maintained throughout the season. There's a classic radio style side cut, 360 wrap standard steel edge. Uh, the Flight Attendant Wine is a great deck. You know, one of the greatest ones out there. Uh, make sure to check this thing out at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the snow. Peace. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or a question below, subscribe to the channel there, and check out our other channel for vlogs, how-tos, and other fun stuff over there. Peace.